An interesting story of yours is that you went to a Warriors minicamp and uh, you, you went up against the likes of Clay Thompson, Andrew Wiggins, I guess Steph as well. Can you tell us how you ended up there and uh, what memories do you have of that time? Yeah, so um, I played well in the G League um, for the Warriors G League team affiliate, the Santa Cruz Warriors. And then after playing well there, um, I was fortunate enough to get the opportunity to go to um, like a training camp during COVID. And, uh, was it like very impressive for you to to see how these players play? Yeah, for sure. Um, honestly, it makes the game a lot easier when you're playing with guys at that level, just because there's not much that you have to do. Everybody knows where they're supposed to be, what they're supposed to be doing, um, and so it makes your job so much easier. Uh, you spent some years uh, when you were very young in Slovenia, where, you played, uh, where your father played. Um, have you got any memories that stuck uh, in your mind of, the, of that time? Um, yeah, just when I was younger, um, my father played for Olympia. So I just remember days just with my mom um, traveling to different countries with my father, um, like France, Germany, just being able to spend time and see things when I was younger there. And then also um, the home games at halftime, a lot of time the coach would allow me to go and shoot. So for a little bit of the time, I was like the halftime entertainment in a way. Okay, so these are great memories for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I read that playing overseas and traveling around the globe with the, with the basketball uh, was your dream rather than playing yeah, yeah, yeah. in the NBA. Yeah, for sure. Um, so it's, it's different than for most of the guys in the States, I think. Yeah, like most guys, that's all they think of. And half of them don't even really understand what European basketball is until a later age. Um, so like my journey and everything was completely different because my eyes were set on playing in Europe. And yeah, if I made it to the NBA, okay, that's a bonus. But right now I'm extremely happy because I'm able to live out my dream, you know what I mean? And visit different countries, see the different cultures, experience different cultures, try different foods. So like, I can't even ask for um, a better situation. You already played in multiple countries. So yeah. were, the, uh, were these experiences uh, as good as you thought it would be? Um, I didn't really go in with any true expectations, but I've loved all my experiences. Um, Greece is probably one of my favorite places to be in the world. Um, Italy was very nice. Germany was amazing. And now I'm getting an opportunity to see what Lithuania is like. Uh, on your Instagram page, you have story highlights of drawings that you, that you have made yourself. Mm -hmm. um, uh, also a photography page. Where does this artsy passion of yours come from? Um, I've always been kind of like that, but I've never really tapped into it until maybe three, four years ago. Um, just communicating with one of my best friends. He's similar. Um, he does music and he also draws a little bit. So just having conversations with him a few years ago, um, we just decided to kind of tap more into the drawing, music, um, photography, just different ways to express ourselves creatively, especially when you're playing professionally overseas, you have so much time on your hands, you know. So you have to kind of find ways to fill up that time so you don't end up being bored or missing home or whatever the case may be, so. So you would rather uh, take a pencil into your hands uh, than uh, play console games? Or? Yeah, yeah, it's tough for me to play um, video games. Like I'll play for a little bit, but I get disinterested very easily. 